Yeah, hey, Joe, what's up? No, that's no problem. If you can't do the show, man, and you're sick, you know, I, I got somebody I could probably fill in for you. Yeah, that's fine. No, it'll be okay. Yeah, you just get some rest, okay? All right. Talk to you later. I can't believe you got your friend to sneeze on him like that. That was brilliant. Let's go get the show done. Welcome to this week's edition of WSST. I'm Craig. I'm Maggie. And Maggie is actually filling in for Joe today. Uh, Joe is actually sick, as we saw earlier. And uh, actually, I think we have him live, right? Mm -hmm. Don't we have a video overlay? Hey, hey, uh, hey, Joe, are you there? Oh, he's coming right now. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Well, I'm not feeling so good. You're not feeling good. That's a, that's kind of rough, man. You don't sound too well either. Well, not really. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to have uh, Maggie probably fill in and in for you. you know? She's she's done a pretty good job so far. Well, so she is the awesomest person I know. <laughs> she is the aw awesomest person you know. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I didn't know you felt that way about her, Joe. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, you know what? We'll let you go so you can get some more rest, and uh, uh, I'm gonna get Maggie back in the studio here, and we're gonna finish up. Okay. All right. Talk to you later, Joe. That was Joe, everybody, and as you know, he's sick, so, and Maggie had to do a little payback there, so. Uh, well, we got a lot to talk about for the show today, because we of course, we know we had two tough games, uh, Warriors and the Spartans, so we're going to come back right after this quick message, and we'll start talking about it. Come see the magic. Come see the excitement of Warrior Soccer, only on WSST. And, and I'm back. And we're back. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, we're going to move on to Warriors news. Uh, actually, this is pretty nice because Maggie used to be uh, on the team. She's actually technically our assistant coach in 2009, and she's technically our assistant coach now in 2011. So it's pretty cool to have you back. So she's definitely got a lot of history with the team, and you better be back in 2012. We already signed you to a contract, so it's tough. So let's talk about Warriors. Warriors played the Phoenix today, uh, or actually this week, sorry. They're healthy rivals. Yes, they are definitely some you know, a good rival for us. Uh, four former players on there being uh, Tiffany Garrett, who was on our uh, undefeated season, yeah. uh, Kaylee Dodson, who was also uh, part of the undefeated team. Uh, who else do we have? Uh, Jasmine, Jasmine Batista, that's right, she was on the undefeated team. And then from 2008, Zoe Lobota was also on that yeah. team too. So um, it was an interesting game. I, I, think, uh, I think both sides played a little soft because there's a lot of friends on both sides. Yeah. In fact, our captains went up and their four captains just happened to be all of our former players. <laughs> So there's a lot of history there, you know, and, and it was also picture day, so that made it interesting, too. Yeah, so, uh, in fact, you are on the Lady Rangers this year, aren't you? Yeah. Now, they beat us up last year, as I remember, right? Yeah. So now we're getting the inside workings of everything about the Lady Rangers. I know it now. Okay. Coach is watching. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll just save that for later, but anyways, thanks, thanks for those notes uh, that you took on him. We'll save that for later. Yeah, that was a good camera angle, too. Uh, anyways, uh, this game was pretty rough. Uh, we started out with an early one to nothing lead. Uh, Ivana actually scored that goal. Uh, she hustled up there. And then it just kind of went back and forth. It, it seemed like a stalemate. Uh, Tiffany was still pounding. She still got that right leg, um, which she always had you know, all these years. Um, and then they actually had scored on us. And in four years of coaching, that's the first tie I've ever seen. Next to the Spartans, because we had two ties in one day. And I've never experienced one tie, so that, it was a really unique situation. Um, of course, we had Alyssa in goal. Yeah. Now, how many saves did she have? I don't know. I didn't get to see the game. That's but true. from what I heard, she did pretty well. Right. I, I Seriously, I lost count. I, I don't know. She had her Wheaties, definitely, because she just kept stopping balls left and right. I don't know how in the world she kept it up, but... She definitely did. Uh, our little primetime princess apparently faltered on defense because she was way too busy in the goal. So we'll have to get her back into shape again. Um, but, it, you know, everybody gave the role. I saw Sarah actually took a ball right to the nose. I thought she broke her nose. 
so she was hurt. Um, Alyssa was struggling a little bit. She was pretty tired. Uh, you know, there was a lot of factors in that game that just that just seemed to just progress on. I mean, a lot of their players were getting hurt, and you know, it wasn't really the aggressive game I expected it to be. You know, again, it was friends are on both sides. You know, uh, Coach Tony and I, we we actually started uh, picking on each other on Facebook. You know, we're just like, we're gonna win. No, we're gonna win. You know, the the Phoenix, they're the birdies. You know, I, I remember Maddie's dad just started. There's the birdies. You know, so. But it's a healthy rivalry. It's not like the rivalry when the other team are just, you know, you hate them and they're just being mean. You've been there, you know, the ones that trip you and pers you know, they just want to hurt you, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and with the Phoenix, it was a little different. And hopefully we'll, we'll do some things on the side with them too. But, you know, we're trying. We definitely, uh, we'll probably have a scrimmage or two. Because yeah. through the scrimmages, and I can find out everything about you too, Tony. And I <laughs> will find out everything about you and your team. I already know about four. So we just have to find out about the rest. Actually, he already told me a lot of stuff about uh, his daughter Emily, I believe it was. And I know where you live. That's right. A lot of our players know exactly where you live, so you might want to just lose the next game, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, but we had a good, uh, a good conversation. In fact, uh, let's look at some footage really quick. We've actually got uh, uh, Tiffany and Yvonne actually did something. And this just kind of shows the camaraderie that even though Tiff isn't part of the team anymore, you know, she still feels like she is, and we still feel like she is, and yeah, it's just a big family, you know, which is why you're here. Same with Jasmine, Loie, Zoe, 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 and Kaylee. And Kaylee, that's right. So, actually, uh, we'll cut to that footage right now, and you guys can take a quick look at that. Hey, everyone. I'm actually here with Ivana from our game earlier, and guess who else I got here? I got a familiar face. This is Tiffany Garrick. She was playing on our team in 2009. Helped us get, get to a championship. She almost kicked our butt today because she still has a wicked right foot. How is it over there on the Phoenix? Pretty good? You guys like playing against each other finally? No? You gotta be on the same team next time, huh? That's what I want to see. All right, everyone. Just want to show you we still got warrior spirit on both sides of the field. Talk to you later. All right, welcome back. That was some pretty good footage. Yeah, a little bit there of uh, former former teammates. You know, Tiffany and Ivana, yeah. you remember, they were on the offense. Yep. And uh, Tiffany was our leading scorer for 2009. And actually, all the goals she, she the scored. She the best goal that, from the playoffs yeah, where she kicked the corner kick in the goalie. That's right. Yeah. yeah, I had never seen it. It was the corner kick that went in. And we, we actually have that on the team video, too. Yeah. And believe it or not, uh, all-time leading scorers, it's actually Mackenzie, Ivana, and Tiffany is still up there in, in third place. I, I and, couldn't and even believe it. she hasn't played for two years she's been, Yeah, this is going on to two years, and she's yeah. still holding that position. I mean, that's just how many goals we had that year. It was unbelievable. I, it was just a scoring machine. So, um, But, uh, yeah, actually, uh, after the game, too, I got to meet up with Coach, uh, Coach Tony. In fact, you're, you're probably seeing a, a still of us right now. Uh, really nice guy. I, it was the first time I actually got to meet him in person. I, we've just been chatting through Facebook. We talked on the phone, I think, once or twice, but... Uh, he's a nice guy, and I know a lot of you. You know, a lot of you guys all know him too. So, uh, definitely a, a fun, fun coach to have. Um, seeing the former players actually with him is is pretty nice, and it's nice that even though they couldn't keep our team together after '09, that they kept the other ones together. You yeah. know, and it it, they it, didn't it was a plus. Completely separate. Right, because it would have been bad if you had you know Tiffany here, Kaylee there, and you, you know, just keep going down the list. So, um, but anyways, I think we have uh, our player of the week coming up, right? Yeah. And who is it this week? Um, well, hold on. I'm a potato. That'll give you a big hint. <laughs> that would be Miranda. Miranda is Player of the Week, and we're going to go talk to her right now. So we'll be right back. Hey, Warriors fans, I'm here with Miranda. She's number 51. Mm -hmm. Yep, and uh, she's actually new to the Warriors this year. Um, you know, you've been playing soccer for a couple years, right? Mm -hmm. And what other teams have you been with? G4, Shamrockers. The Shamrockers. I remember the Shamrockers. We actually played you guys, I think. You remember playing us? No. No? That was a long time ago. That was back in like 2008. But um, So what's your favorite position now that you're playing for the Warriors? Center. You're always on center. You play offense. Now, we, I've already told everybody because we had a show before, and I said that you're like one of the fastest girls on the team. So that's pretty neat. It's like you and Maya are like right up there, and you can get everywhere on the field. Now, away from soccer, when you're not playing soccer, what other kind of things do you do? Hockey, figure skating. Did you do anything that's like not sport related? Like, what kind of hobbies do you have? Um, not that much. Not that much. <laughs> How long have you been playing hockey? Two years. Two years. And what position do you play in hockey? Wing, and I play defensive 
defense a couple times. All right, so playing hockey, that's obviously where you get the fierceness, right? Because I, I always see Miranda in practice always doing this. So that's definitely where you get it from, right? So that's pretty neat. So lo looking ahead this year, I mean, do you like being with the Warriors so far? Yeah. That's pretty neat, huh? You like the jerseys? Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool. So, well, that's neat. Well, thanks for being on the show this week. It was pretty neat. So we got to learn a little bit about Miranda. Yeah. We got to get her to talk more next time. But <laughs> yeah. you know, it's pretty neat that she can uh, talk at practice, but not there. That's right. Yeah, but you know what? It, she's got some interesting background. You know, especially with the fact that she plays other sports too. Yeah. So that's pretty neat. But um, all right, well, let's just recap the game. Um, scoring leaders for the well, I should say scoring leader for the game yeah. is Ivana with one goal. One goal, and then that brings our season total to Ivana is actually in first now. She's fighting for that, and Mackenzie is. Right down, only a step though. She's so at two. She's at two goals for the season. And Izzy is right behind them at one. So it's three, two, one. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat. Well, Ivana, you know you're you're trying to take that number one all time slot away from Mackenzie. Don't let it go to your head. You know I'd hate to see that happen. Well, speaking of going to your head, didn't you get win coach of the year last I, you year? You know, <laughs> I did. Yeah, I really don't want to talk about it. Has it gone you to know, your head? Yes, I did win coach of the year. Uh, I don't want to be too modest about it, but yeah, and it hasn't gone to my head, not one bit. No. Uh, in in sure? fact, you know, before before you came over to help me with the show today, I had some of the girls over, and I was just talking to somebody important on the phone about that. Yeah. In fact, let, let's let, let me uh, I'll tell you all about it right now, okay? Yeah, hey, yeah, no, no, the coach of the year stuff, no, none of that's gone to my head. No, not at all. No, I, I I'd never do that to the girls. No, no, I'd never treat them like that. They all voted for me. I, I mean, how could I do that to them? Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, hold, hold on a minute. Thanks, Madison. It's about time. Hey, there's no ice in this! <laughs> Gee, I'm gonna trade you! Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. You know, we really should have won our last game. that goes to the county? Yes, it should. Hey, I'm on the phone here! Get, get! Hey! <sighs> Anyways, what were you saying, Mr. President? Well, I don't. I think that was you. I, no, I don't act that way. Not at all. Hey, don't touch my award. Oh, I tell you what. We'll be back with some Spartans news in a moment. Don't touch it ever again.